So hello everybody, welcome to the channel and uh, and to my Facebook page and this is going to be the new moon into Taurus tarot reading for all 12 zodiac signs. <clears throat> so if you do have any issues with uh, the uh, with the stream, please please let me know in the comment section here in the post. And um, also I would like to say a few words uh, before we start with the tarot reading about the date that the full moon is happening. Just a couple of words there, guys. So uh, the, the the new moon, excuse me, into Taurus. So the new moon into Taurus happens into 15th of May, 2018. And I don't know what the astrologers are saying about, you know, how, this, how the planets and the celestial in general uh, clusters have been aligned out there in the sky. But for numerology, it is very important date because the vibration, and especially the carry-on vibration, <clears throat> it is very potent to settle things into our family, especially into families which doesn't have very good relationships into one another, you know, in between siblings and in between, uh, for example, parents and, and children, etc., etc. It is a, a very potent energy to set those misunderstandings aside and to really recuperate relationships into family. So uh, if you are finding yourself into a such position, you know, uh, these couple of weeks that are marked by the uh, new moon into Taurus, guys, uh, it will really worth if you try to mend um, connections and relationships and even with ex-boyfriend and girlfriends as well, it could take place. Anything that is regarding an, an emotional connections with people. <clears throat> This is the carry-on vibration that gives you potency uh, in during this um, new moon into Taurus period of time. Uh, hello, Rob. So, uh, welcome everybody again. And uh, now I'm shuffling. We're going to Taurus to Aries first. Excuse me. Uh, five cards spread as per usual. The first three cards are going to express the material aspect of the uh, moon cycle, and the uh, and the second couple of cards are going to express the ethereal or the spiritual aspect of the lunar cycle. On top of that, I want to remind you that at the end of the stream, when I'm done with Pisces, I will answer a, a several questions from the audience, because there are many who are asking me how they what, how they can get a, a free reading. This is the way you get a free reading with me. I mean, a short, free short reading by uh, either cut, uh, catching me by a chance at the end of, my, of some of my streams or sitting all the way to the end of the stream and asking your question <clears throat> when I'm done with Pisces. So let me shuffle now and we go to Aries. By the way, this is going to be for Aries uh, rising, Aries sun and Aries moon. And as many people as well asking me, uh, what is the difference, you know? Well, if you are, for example, very smooth, this reading, general reading is going to reveal your emotional state. If you are Aries rising, then this reading is going to reveal how you will or should tackle with uh, the things <clears throat> that are going to appear for you, you know? during this lunar cycle and if you are very sun this reading shows the events happening so when you listen to all of your three signs you will pretty much get a, a wider understanding what you need to do how to do it and what you can expect from it all right uh well you well kim you should have been in england then because it is 12 03 here in uh, in where I am. I mean midnight 03. So welcome again everybody and let's go directly into Aries. First card for Aries showing up the topic of this uh, lunar cycle. This is going to be the devil card for them. Then we do have challenges Aries needs to overcome that is going to be the knight of wands. Then we do have the six of cups as a uh, you know intentions Aries needs to have or should exert into this lunar cycle then we do have the justice card which does represents the lesson Aries has to learn and then we do have the hermit card expressing up the uh, energies which are going to support Aries during this lunar cycle so let's leave these couple of cards aside for now guys and let's focus on these three showing up the 
a material aspect of the lunar cycle. Very strong message here that probably a, an ex either boyfriend or a girlfriend or a, an ex um, friend in general will re-enter into one's life. Now, uh, what will be the challenge here for Aries is to believe the, uh, the statement that this person is going to give them. I mean, probably they have um, left you with a very poignant feeling about all the connections you had in the past, you know, and now you will find it hard to believe that they have changed into a certain way. Uh, way. Nonetheless, this uh, lunar cycle, you will, Aries is, you will want to kind of like reconnect with these people that is expressed here by the devil card, all right? And not only reconnect, but also make something happen out of it in a, a greater scale of things, which means that that could be a uh, recuperating on one relationship. That could be uh, as well, you know, mending a, a long term friendship. But the key here of how you're going to make this thing long lasting is if you. How can I express it here? Uh, if you are much more. Uh, strict with this person in the sense that you don't allow that person anymore to scamper around with uh, with statements and with activities. So there should be a, a certain rules created in between you, the connection that you uh, create with that person and in between, uh, you know, and in general in between you both. So basically, that is for Aries returning back of a, a of an ex aspect. It doesn't have to be a lover again saying, you know, it could be a, a friend that is going to re-enter into your life. And that was a person you have placed the great hopes at. He betrayed those or she betrayed those hopes back in the days. And now they are re-entering back in your life. Um, kind of like, you know, asking for forgiveness, let's say that way. So what the lesson is going to be here is the justice card and the lesson says that you are not the one who actually, it is not only about justice guys, but it is also about punishing here. You're not the one who is to judge and to punish that particular guy or a girl. And this card strongly suggests that you need to give them a, a second chance. It is because some of the, um, some of the, circumstances that they have left you in the poignant feeling back in the past have not been uncovered yet and if you just have the patience to listen to their story you will understand why they had to do what they did in the past and then we do have the energies here which is the hermit card saying that by being uh, by combing your wavering or rather like you know being uh uh what was the word uh not being biased about what is going to happen, you know, in between you and that person when the reconnection happens, then you will be able to very well be aware of what you truly feel toward what or uh, toward the connection, the reconnection, excuse me, the reconciliation again and how you should proceed moving on forward now because we do have the hermit here you need to know that not much people will be on your side when you try to recu to uh to reconcile all right uh and uh probably you will have to go into that direction without having many people to uh, applaud you there but at the end of the day, as I said, the, my cards at least are pointing that this person, which is going to re-enter your life, does deserve a second chance. Uh, no, Liana, that was Aries reading. Now going into Taurus. Uh, so yeah, the hermit is represented by Virgo in general. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing? All right. One card just fell down. One second. I take it that this is the first card for Aries here, and that is going to be the Tree of Wands. 
Second card that represents challenges that uh, no Aries Taurus, excuse me. Second card that represents what uh, Taurus needs to overcome during this lunar cycle. This is going to be the Knight of Swords. Third card, Ace of Wands. It is the intentions Taurus should have during this uh, particular lunar cycle. Then we do have lesson that they need to learn. That will be the Three of Swords, and then we do have the judgment as an energies. So the most important card here, and uh, which really gave me the hints of what that reading is going to be all about, that was the Tree of Swords. So what is going to happen during this lunar cycle uh, for you, Tauruses, is a, a second go upon a, a failure you had in the past, either failure to create a relationship with someone or a failure upon a project. In, in general, meaning a failure that you had to suffer in the past, but now the circumstances kind of have will have around turn, all right? There will be a surprise happening, which actually is going to align the circumstances in such a way for you that, you that you will be able, should you go for it again, because this is the tree of wands and you can or you may not as well, based on your decision to go for that particular opportunity to make the things work out for you again. What will be the issue here is this person that we do have, the Knight of Swords, which is... Um, how can I place it? He is most likely a male, very tenacious, and it is someone who basically kind of tunnel vision things. So once failure, there is always will be failure for that person. All right. And if you if you kind of count to have a support um, from his behalf, that ain't going to happen. As a matter of fact, um, <clears throat> this person will do anything to despond you. All right. And despondency is being with low spirit, having no desire to, to move on forward. So this person is going to do whatever they can to despond you, but it's not going to be out of bad feelings, all right? Just as I said, for this person, once failure always is a failure, all right? There is, uh, it is always black and white for them, for the sword guys and girls as well. So uh, in another words, they will not be able to foresee the renewal of the opportunity for you, Tauruses. And the lesson you need to learn here comes with the Tree of Swords, very deep card into that reading, all right? The Tree of Swords says that you need to mend your expectations, not just your expectations, but as well your um, premeditated expectations. Well, I think I said something stupid here. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, in other words, you know, what was in the past should stay in the past, all right? If, from there, of, from back then till now, you have gathered new experience, new knowledge, let's say that way as well, new skills, and there is nothing wrong for you to try again. But what is important is not to draw upon that poignant experience that you had back then, because this only will give a, a, a prerequisite for you to fail again. That being said, look at this renewal of opportunity as a, a brand new opportunity. And then we do have the energies which are going to help you here. That will be the judgment card, which says that a third way is going to be open for you. Which means, in other words, I will try to explain it that way. So... Um, Back in time, when you had the same thing and you have failed, uh, actually this card says that there was no other way around it. So everybody would have failed back then, all right? And this is because you were very limited with options available. But just right now, as I said, as the circumstances have changed, you will have not just two options available, but a third one. And the third one is exactly the one that you needed. So uh, basically what these energies are telling us for you, Tauruses, is that whatever you do, uh, the universe itself will always have a, a finger guiding you of uh, what the right approach is. And uh, should you listen or not, that depends on you. But uh, what this card, the judgment says about, uh, you know, about your approach is that to have a little bit more faith into um, your personal sense of um, acute business or of a relationship should this be business or relationship uh 
Hello, Saiban. I, I, I hope that I'm pronouncing your uh, name correctly. Well, you can have a card, but at the end of the stream, when I'm done with Pisces and we have a long way to go now, I'm not Gemini. Uh, Kelvin, yes and no. I will do individual pulls, but at the end of the stream, when I'm done with Pisces. So now we are a Gemini. Oh no, Nisha Capricorn is long way go uh, is a long way from now, you know. Um, we we'll have a long way until Capricorn comes. We are at Gemini. And first card for Gemini marking the cycle. This is going to be the four of wands. Then we do have seven of wands, which is a challenge Gemini need to overcome. Ten of pentacles, it is the best possible intentions Gemini can have during this particular lunar cycle lesson learned that will be the two of cups and then we do have let me pull it this uh here and then we do have energies that you need to over uh, energies which are going to help you guys that will be the eight of pentacles and you will be very very busy during this particular week working and now uh just to say for those who are without any job all right which are jobless these cards are showing a um, completion of a very important cycle of growth, which means that if you apply for jobs, Gemini, someone is going to call you for an interview. And if you go and show how capable you are, then you are going to be assigned. This is for the jobless. But for those which are working, that will be a very busy week because there will be an initiation of a project based on a, a ongoing undertaking preparations for it. So a uh, long preparations which were stressful for everybody, not just you, but your co-workers, bosses as well, etc., etc., finally uh, are going to come to an end. And now the results from those preparations will bear fruit, which means that the actual project for your Geminis is going to be executed. And for what it seems, it will be quite lucrative in a sense of that the company you're working for is going to obtain a lot of money. And as well, uh, if this is about private business, then um, you are going to be the one who is going to attract additional investments for yourself. But what will be the problem here, Gemini, is the seven of uh, seven of swords. And this is jealousy. It's envy from other people, not just from other people, but also a competition, should I say. This card is just a warning, but for now warning. First of all, this card says that you should not allow yourself to be deceived, not just by anybody else, but by but by yourself as well. And second of all, this card warns you to make any precautionary measures for you not to be deceived from other people's, from other people, excuse me. That being said, if you have to uh, sign a contract, be very careful and be very thorough with your, uh, <clears throat> with your reading through the contract. If you uh, are about to make a negotiations, be meticulous about the terms you are going to, uh, you know, stroke a deal, etc., etc. So everything with you, Gemini's, regarding business needs to be very systematic, strict, and as uh, and strategically correct. All right. And then we do have the lesson that you need to learn here. Uh, that will be the two of cups. And here the lesson says that no one can do and push things as best as 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 a multiple people can all right so basically this lesson asks you to open yourself for the society for your co-workers to help you all right and in general for someone to help you because as i said those which are jobless that could be a, a good friend of yours trying to help you to find a job all right and they may very well be able to find your job so don't be proud that that's my point you need to learn gemini's this uh, couple of weeks to 
put your pride on the shelf and have a little bit more trust into others. And the energies which are going to support you here, we do have the Eight of Pentacles and... Um, well, what the guy does, uh, people, the guy does and makes money. So whatever you do, the energies are very positive that from everything you touch, you will be able to make money. And not just money, but very positive for private business to attract new clients. If uh, we're talking about an ongoing uh, work into a company, then this points that uh, you will... Uh, be assigned into a very important task that requires a lot of skill and requires a lot of uh, meticulous performance as well, all right, which you have been entrusted with. Do not betray that trust. It is what my point is. Now, uh, shuffling again, we go to uh, we go to cancer. All right, so Cancers, for you is the Ace of Wands, the first card that marks the topic of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the Nine of Wands. That will be uh, the challenges that you need to overcome. Then we do have the Four of Cups, which is the best possible intentions, all right, that you can have during this lunar cycle or under intentions, I mean, uh, how can I place it? Under intentions, I mean the best possible approach toward the situation. Then is the Ten of Wands, which is the lesson you need to learn. And last but not least, we do have the energy supporting you. That will be the Nine of Cups. All right, so let's put these to your sides. So what happens here is, uh, well, the Ace of Wands, many people say is the new beginning, but I like to say that this is a new enterprise, new project, new love. You know, something that will breed a lot of amusement within you or rather is going to make your uh, two weeks period of time under the um, new moon into Taurus. Very, very, very uh, amusing, pleasant and interesting on top of that. Very dynamic. So uh, what you need to do, Taurus, is, is ask yourself, what do I need in order to make my life interesting, all right? And when you answer that, questions, uh, that question, what do you need to make your life interesting? Well, this is exactly what you are going to get, all right? So for some people, it's going to be love. For others, it's going to be new job or a that big project into job, etc., etc. But what will be the problem here, all right, that is not going to come on its own? And that is displayed here with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands saying is that you need to force it by forcing um, conscious changes. And let me explain you what conscious change is. All right. Conscious change, because I had I have used that term for a um, in couple of my readings and I had some uh, messages people don't understand what conscious conscious change is and what change is. Well, change is with some, when something happened that is out of con, out of your control. You know, you get fired from your job, bang, that is change, unconscious change. You know, something that is out of your control, or your car get broken, bam, that is a change. You know, uh, or you have you are finding yourself a job, or kind of like you have been called for an interview. Well, that is a, an unconscious change. Conscious change, it is when you have full control upon it. Conscious change is when you change your schedule. Conscious change is when you change the route of that you go to job, etc., etc. So, 
what happens here is that through a conscious changes in other words recognizing which kind of uh, part of your life cancers is boring and it doesn't have any advance forward you know and making some actions in order to change that which is not going to be very difficult for what it seems with the four of cups only thing that it will take is to recognize it you know and to seek more more versatility into that particular uh, field of your life then then the newness is going to come. As I said, that could be a new relationship, new job, uh, a project. Basically, the Ace of Wands, it is a, a new enterprise which improves your circumstances or should I say your, um, yeah, your position, all right? Also, the Ace of Wands uh, sometimes could be taken as a resolution of an issue. So if you have a big issue, that yeah that does not allow you to sleep not, uh, at night you know then uh, these uh, this moon cycle is going to give you the resolution of it but it is up to you to act upon it all right and then we do have these couple of cards so the lesson you need to learn is that when you seek improvement you have to put the toils for it there is no other way around it i mean the good things are all kind of like uh, your life will not change on its own for the better that is the thing and if you want something you basically need to work and toil for it and slog if you have to you know but at the end of the day those who are the most tenacious they are going to have whatever they want and we have here the nine of cups as a uh, energy card which are the energies which are supporting you cancers very peculiar card because uh this points that you well, how can I explain it? So, uh, this card points that you will be happy from the results you get, all right? But this, this happiness you are going to have is not going to be the ultimate happiness you can have, all right? So, as I said, it will take toils and it will take work in order for you to make the the temporary happiness you know or the te the temporary satisfaction of of one jobs uh, of one job well done to a a long lasting uh, sustained and stable fulfillment emotional fulfillment so that was cancer now we go to leo All right, so Leos, the High Priestess, it is what we do have for your, oh my God, all right. So the High Priestess, it is what we do have for uh, for the topic of your cycle. Then we do have the Lover's card as a, a challenges that you need to overcome. Page of Cups, it is the Intentions that you need to have. Then we do have the Ace of uh, Wands as a, a lesson you need to learn and then we do have the queen of cups as a uh, energies that are going to support you so what happens here is that you leos are gonna have a, a big choice to make during this lunar cycle and now this choice is going to be in between what you want and what you have to and let me explain you the um the situation that way I uh, let's say that you are jobless, you know, and right now in this lunar cycle, you kind of have a, a two options available. One of the options available is a, a job that you wanted to work your entire life, or it's kind of like it's a, a dream job of yours, all right? But that dream dream job, a job of yours, it is not very well paid. On the second hand, you do have a job that is you find really really annoying it is something like i don't want to work that you know but in the same time it is very well paid 
so it will differ what kind of your social status is you know for those which are single it will be very uh for example if, for example, for those which are single, it's going to be very easy to choose. I mean, they're going to choose for that they want to work, you know, because only they, they need to support only themselves. But those who have family to take care on, you know, obviously they have to go for what they need to do or take the annoying job, which is well paid. So something like this, this could be also about relationships, you know, uh, it could literally um, take place in any a kind of field of one's life but what the bottom line here is is that you don't have to take that choice straight away first of all we have the the um the high priestess which points that you can stall the situation until you kind of obtain how can i place obtain the deeper the deeper understanding of what circumstances and consequences as well uh the choice you make is going to leave you with. And second of all, that is the most important thing here from that uh, reading. This is the uh, page of cups as an intention and page of cups says that you need to foresee the bigger picture. Do not be prone into the small things, minor little things uh, along the way, you know, but be more focused upon the bigger picture or at the end goal, should I say. And as well, this card points that you need to reassess your position the very least, which means that probably um, you can demand much more from your relationship or you can demand much more from your job or you can get a, a much better position. That is my point here. If you realize that you deserve much better position and through the choice you make, definitely you will have that much better position. Then we do have the Ace of Wands as a lesson you need to learn. And that is the realization, guys, of how much potential you do have only if you allow yourself to be a little bit more brave and to unfold the potential you keep slumbered beneath the toe just because you are afraid to make a mistake. So don't be afraid to make mistakes because the greatest learning in our society are all are, are learned through the mistakes of someone else or of um, ourselves, you know. And last but not least, we do have the energies which are going to support you here, Leo, with that is the Queen of Cups. And somehow these energies are saying that whatever you're trying to do and you don't want the other people to know about it will be kept in secret so in other words if you screw things up it's not going to be that big of a deal all right because people either are not going to notice it or they will not find it very substantial that being said this is a a week for you to find your true path in life into a certain area of your life all right into your relationship or into your career or into your social circle it depends in what kind of uh, field of your life you are finding yourself lost so ask yourself where i'm finding myself lost is my is this my relationship is this my career and it is where you will have to make that choice oops and then we go to Virgo. All right, so Virgos, that will be the full card as a, a topic of uh, of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the hangman. Um, uh, is the video working? Is the video working for everybody?
All right, so the second card for Virgo, that will be the Hangman. Then we do have third card, five of... Uh, Oh, all right, so the third card that will be the five of swords. Then we do have the knight of wands that will be uh, the lesson you need to learn, Virgo. And then we do have the uh, just one second, guys. Just one second. I need to check. Yeah, it's all good. All right. So, yeah, the uh, the last final card that will be the six of cups, which is the energies we, you you need to follow. All right. So let's let's go through the first three cards here, like this. So the full card, needless to say, for you Virgos, is that you are gonna have a, a brand new beginning. All right. So. The full card is the card uh, that marks that you are in between two infinities. One cycle ends, other cycle starts. So this lunar cycle, you have the luxury to choose which direction you want to go. So uh, needless to say that this is not only about career, it's not only about relationships, etc., etc. It is a, about your choice. That being said, because we do have the hangman, excuse me, only a second position here, it will be very hard for you to choose from. So you will have so many options for you to go for. That could be new social circles. It could be uh, a new enterprises. You know, it could be new hobbies as well, etc., etc. The bottom line here is, guys, is that we do have the five of um, the five of one, uh, the five of uh, swords. Excuse me. The five of swords does points that first of all, when you choose what kind of direction you want to go from now on, Virgo, which kind, what kind of beginning you want to initiate in your life first things first you need to be very well aware of your personal limitations and your personal capabilities in other words do not start something that you are not a hundred percent sure that you can finish second <clears throat> second thing is that you need to start thinking for yourself what i mean uh, with the five of with, with the five of swords, this is one of my favorite favorite cards. In a moment where one realizes that no matter what one do, it will never be able to satisfy everybody around themselves. Which means that instead of trying to satisfy everybody around you, why don't you try to satisfy yourself instead? That being said, this is going to be completely, completely personal, new direction that nobody else has the right to tell you what to what to do and how to do it and, and, and in general what to aim for so what you need to make with the full card is uh, from the full card as a new beginning is to be spontaneous to give your ideas expression try to uh, to materialize them you know uh, and, and also the the full card is very potent about attracting new people with your enthusiasm and making them enthusiastic as well to uh, create them to make them a followers of yours which people that is going to help you and here afterwards we do have the lesson you need to learn Virgo and the Knight of Wands as a lesson says that if you have the passion, all right, and if you want one thing so much, everything is possible. So go for it. It's all about approach and it's all about strategy, how to get there. And this card points that you need to experiment during this uh, particular couple of weeks, Virgo. So experiment with your career, experiment with your relationships as well, especially if you are single, uh, start dating people, multiple people, just to see uh, which one is going to fit you best. And then is the six of uh, the six of cups, which is the energy that is going to support you very uh, impressive energy in a sense of that you will show creativity at your work or these energies are always going to keep your creativity to its outer limits all right 
And if we talk about relationship, these energies will attract the person which you are going to have not just emotional connection with, but also a, a physical connection. So it's a, a very, basically you can establish a new beginning in, in, into an, anything in your life. And um, I can suggest you to take a, a full advantage of it. And so we go to Libra. Oh, you're welcome, Liana. You're welcome. Um, uh, yeah, well, spot on or not, I don't know. Just, guys, keep in mind that these are general readings. And uh, it is up to you to relate what I say with your personal situation, because I speak through examples, all right? I may say it is about career, but it could be as well about relationship. It is just, it is up to you to make a connection in between what is going on with you and what the cards are pointing. Because this is not your personal reading. It is a, a general reading. And basically it will kind of resonate in a different level. It is what I want to say. There are so for Libras, uh, yeah, for Libras, that will be the Eight of Wands as a first card. That is going to be the um, the topic of your lunar cycle. Then um, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is the challenges you need to overcome. Wheel of Fortune, intention wise. Then is the King of Cups is a lesson you need to learn here. And then is the Nine of uh, the Nine of Wands, which is the energies supporting you through that lunar cycle. You Libras are going to have a, a huge opening upon an ongoing agenda or a thing, something that you are toiling for. Um, something that you are trying to um to materialize let's say that way problem here uh with the seven of uh, with the seven of pentacles is uh first obtaining resources in order to do it so and second of all uh realizing that the the strategy you're thinking about it is not the best strategy around so in other words it it, it will take a little bit of uh, reprioritizing for you in order to take advantage of the Eight of Wands. And what is the Eight of Wands, guys? These are the numerous... Um, it, it is an opportunities, but not exactly opportunities. These are openings to make the things work, all right? One opening comes and goes, and then the another opening comes and goes, you know? So you will have multiple chances to finish your work, to uh, explain yourself, for example, in front of your boyfriend or a girlfriend, to uh, settle disagreements into your family or into your relationship. These are multiple numerous opportunities during this lunar cycle. And it is up to you to take advantage of them. And this is exactly what the Wheel of Fortune says, that you need to take on every single gift that the fate or the, the your luck or the universe or whatever it is presenting to you without thinking that this could be exploiting the situation because there is no such thing as exploiting the situation but as i said it will require a little bit of a different strategy than than, than you are adapting right now <clears throat> so think carefully how you want to approach uh, the issue because your approach until right now it is not the uh, the most the most optimal approach and then we do have the queen of uh, the, the king of cups as a lesson you need to learn and uh, this is a, a very sound lesson here is that everything happens through a, a combing of the waverings so in other words guys emotional approach towards situations is the last thing you want to do because emotional dramas 
or rather like emotional outbursts creates emotional outbursts. Being calm, being polite, being di uh, diplomatic as well, you know, relying on a diplomacy here is going to only give you the same results. Diplomacy, uh, calm solutions, etc., etc. So try to slumber, you know, those kind of... Uh, uh, how can I place it? Those those kind of urges to yell and to 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 make arguments with rather a uh, hostile thong, etc., etc. You know, so you need to be a little bit more strategic. And then we do have the energies which are going to support you here, Libra. That is the Nine of Wands. And these energies are pointing that you will have the perseverance or the strength. To persevere, uh, to persevere through whatever is going on in your life right now. Uh, and this card also points that this lunar cycle will be very exhausting for you, most likely a lot of work, all right, and a lot of uh, chores that you need to take care on. But you need to know that this is also a card pointing that the chores and the a lot of stress, it is almost over. So probably after this lunar cycle for you, Libras, um, the stress is going to abate quite a lot. All right. So that was for Libra. Now going to Scorpio. Let me reform. I really like to, to uh, make a reform shuffling. Uh, yeah, Crystalline, you should look at your uh, at your moon. The moon, uh, the moon sign will, uh, sign will pretty much give you an idea what your emotional state is going to be. This is what I explained at the start of the video that your sun sign gives you the overlook of what is going to happen. The ascendant sign or the rising sign gives you the uh, idea of how you will tackle it, and the moon sign. Uh, when you listen to your moon sign, you will have the idea of how you're going to feel about it, all right? So by combining those three, you will kind of have the idea of what the uh, majority of the lunar cycle is going to be uh, for you. And that being said, Scorpio, right, uh, Scorpio, Sun, Rising, and Moon have the uh, Queen of Swords as the topic of their uh, lunar cycle. Then we do have the Five of War, uh, wow, Five of Wands. So just by these three cards, it does look like that someone will try to place you back on a right track, Scorpios. Or in other words, this seems a, an argument with your co-workers or an argument with your boss or let's say agent as well, you know, because they want to see you successful and pretty much uh, they have better experience than you do. That That's the point here. And it does seem that you or we Scorpios are quite resilient of what we are told and uh, one way or another, we are going to learn it. Um, <clears throat> but I do hope that we are going to learn it the easy way around because the hard way is through failure. And uh, then we do have the Queen of Cups, which is intention wise. Afterwards is the Three of Pentacles. That is uh, the lesson we need to learn. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is the energies which are going to support you here, all right? So, as I said, this is going to be a clash of ideas in between you and someone which is, um, let's say, more experienced than you are. Um, the way I see it, that will probably be a clash of, clashes of ideas in between me and my agent, which is nothing wrong with that because, you know, my agent always helps me to give the best of me and I am so grateful for that, that 
you can't imagine. But yeah, we, we always argue, you know, and, and this is probably going to continue during this, uh, during this lunar cycle. But this particular reading, at least for me, it gives me the, um, the understanding that she knows better or he knows better, you know, depending on what kind of your agent is. But yeah, that she, because it's a, a queen of swords, knows better. And even if you had, if you find hard to believe it, you need to realize that they're doing it only for your greater good. That could be your mother as well. It could be your boss. It could be, as I said, your therapist. It is someone that is trying to help you despite your resilience. All right. This, which speaks that this is a person that has a, a very great hopes into you, a very big hopes into you. So guys, try to listen. You Scorpio, what you need to do during this uh, particular lunar cycle, guys, is just listen what you're taught from these people. As I said, either your mother, therapist, a business agent, you know, a, a financial advisor, etc., etc., because they know what they're talking about. And even if you don't find it very pleasant to do or it is not exactly your way of doing it try it out and you will be amazed by the results this is the only thing i can tell you because we have the tree of pentacles as a lesson you need to learn and this card points that there is more than one way to reach something and as a matter of fact <clears throat> <laughs> Well, Ali, I hope that she gets easy on you, you know. Anyway, so the Tree of Pentacles, there is more than one way to establish something. And you need to realize that you are just learning right now, you know. The way you are going for Scorpio, it is not the optimal way. So, yeah, it is all about that, guys. Listen to this person. Because this card is about criticism. Or rather, constructive criticism, constructive feedback that points very blunt where you're doing wrong and how you need to fix it. And if you are finding yourself offended by it, well, that is a serious issue. And you need to realize that if you are not kind of like pointed towards your mistakes and, uh, you know, if your mistakes are not shoved in your face... Uh, you will never be able to take a note upon them and to learn your lessons. So that being said, guys, uh, these people, that card also points that the people who tells you the truth about your performance, they are the only people who are going to support you through your development. So yeah, you're going to face quite a lot of critics and a negative feedback, uh, Scorpios, but that these critics and uh, negative feedback are only so you can improve moving on forward with your career or with your relationship. And then we do have the energies which are going to support you here. That is going to be the Queen of Wands. And Queen of Wands does speaks that um, th this isn't about adaptation, but you uh, will have the acute business sense you will have acute sense as well of the human nature so uh what i can say is that if you put quite of a resilience against what you are told uh this is pure stubbornness <laughs> it's uh, you will see how right these people are and uh basically you got to acknowledge it so for you as well stays the uh the sentence put your pride on the shelf and realize that there are sometimes people which are better than you are and you can only learn from them funny thing ellie is that tomorrow i have a meeting with my mom as well <laughs> so i guess it's going to be a mother figurine for at least both of us Sagittarius now is on turn. Hello, Liz. How are you doing? 
So Sagittarius says Seven of Swords. It's the first card for you. That is the topic of your lunar cycle. Then is the Nine of Pentacles, which is the challenges you need to overcome. Six of Pentacles is the intentions you need to have. Uh, the um, the Empress is the lesson you need to learn, and then we do have the Two of Wands, which is the energies supporting you through this cycle. All right, so what happens here is that, um, well, that is very peculiar. One second. Well, what happens here for you, Sagittarius, is that you guys are going to become into a state of... Uh, Sitting in the bath? What do you mean? Not really. All right. So uh, what will happen is that you need to choose where to spread your resources. How can I place it? There will be someone who needs your help here during this. Uh... Oh, that's pro that's not a war, Beverly. It's probably the fun of my computer that you're hearing. And if you are hearing it, you do have very sensitive speakers then. Um, it is only, I think, it is only thing I can say because I have numerous uh, sound filters that or kind of like a noise filters that should have kind of numb the fun um, the fun sound so i do apologize about that but yeah because i'm not on a laptop i'm on a pc and probably you are hearing the fun of the pc of the power supply of the pc all right so you will have just exact resources either to help somebody or to help yourself that will be uh, and it is a very hard and it is a very hard a um, a choice to make here uh sagittarius says <clears throat> because how can i place it really i if you go for helping these people you're going to deprive yourself from um from, a, from materializing a certain agenda of yours. This is displayed here by these couple of cards, all right? But if you don't go, uh, then you will look very selfish into the eyes of others. And the intention-wise, it is what we do have. It is very peculiar because I said the seven, of, uh, the seven of Swords is a card saying that you should go for your things and for your agendas. You need to have a strong spine and you need to follow your personal aims and personal goals despite what other things but in the same time intention wise we do have the six of pentacles which points that you need to help people while maintaining um, the hierarchy in there although your help is not going to uh, really resolve their issues at least are going to ease their time etc etc and uh, the point the, the the bottom line here is and the problem is, is that the resources will be very um cost efficient or insufficient insufficient excuse me which means that you can use them only for one thing and the lesson learned here or the lesson you need to learn with the empress is that um you need to take care for their people of yourself because the empress only uh, always cares for the the nation and the people and that speaks that you that the person which needs your help, Sagittarius, says, is going to be a very close of yours. That could be a, a cousin of yours, you know, it could be a brother or a, or a sister, or it could be as well a sibling from another kind, let's say mother or a father, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically up to you what you're going to do, but these cards are pointing that despite you're going to deprave yourself, from uh, you know a certain opportunity you're gonna feel yourself much better if you uh spend those resources to help those people most likely 
money so you will be asked for money all right and uh, uh, instead of investing those money into your things and why is that because we do have the two of wands as an energy card and the energy card points that even though you will not be able to catch that um, that kind of uh, window of opportunity to invest your money and to become lucrative out of them because you choose to help with those kind of resources the universe will reward you with another one, with another opportunity further into the future, which is going to uh, prove as just lucrative as this one is. All right. So it's kind of like it's a very difficult for me to explain it because I haven't been in such a situation. You know, when I when, when someone explain cards or explaining chart, etc., etc., they draw upon their own personal experience with life, and I didn't quite have that kind of a situation because because I kind of you know taken care for myself almost for my my uh, almost for throughout my entire you know um, adult life. And I did not rely on anybody. Thus, you know, no one relies on me as well. All right. And uh, that being said, I haven't been in such a situation, but kind of imagining it to be, let's say, your uh, your brother asks you for a certain amount of money because they need it so badly, and it's for something substantial. On top of that, and if you give those money to your brother, this is just a. Um, and an example, you will miss that opportunity of investment or of just to spoil yourself, you know, to renovate your home, etc., etc. And you may feel bad about it, but in the same time, you're going to feel good about that you have helped your brother. This is just, again, an example. And afterwards, you're going to be, as I said, rewarded for your kindness. Well, if it is about politics uh, for you, that reading could speak, you know, that you will get, oops, excuse me, that you will make a, well, if, if I have a question and I can channel the question, you know, then this reading speaks a lot. I will just give an example because guys, tarot is about answering questions. You know, if you want a general, general reading, you go to astrologer, numerologer, but for tarot, you go with, uh, with questions. And as uh, Claudia speaks here about politics, if this is a about politics, then this reading speaks that you are going to win the heart of the crowd when you show that you you do understand them and what their problems are you know the problems of the small people the problems of the average people and you aim to to resolve them or at least give them a a, a, a possible solution and that way you are going to build up a, a big trust within you which is going to help you to execute your personal agenda Right, so now going to Capricorn. Temperance is what we do have for Capricorn's topic of the week, uh, of the lunar cycle, excuse me, new moon into Taurus. Then it is the Ace of Cups, which is the challenges that Capricorns needs to overcome. Seven of Cups, it is uh, the, um, the intentions Capricorn needs to uh, adopt. Sun card, it is the lesson that they need to learn. And then we do have the King of Pentacles as the uh, energy cards. Let's say, let's leave these couple aside for now. And what we do have for you, Capricorns, is that you are way too stressed 
and it's kind of like the um, the ability to enjoy life uh, is diminished at least for now. All right, but this lunar cycle it does look like that your ability to enjoy life in all of its forms is going to regain uh, to be regained back into you. The temperance points that you that the things which have been annoyed annoying for you until now will no longer be annoyed. Uh, we, will be annoying. Excuse me. That being said, you are going to tackle with your chores, responsibilities in your career or into your relationship much more uh, with much more ease and with much more, less stress exerted into it. That being said, which this is going to open your heart for a uh, the small the small things in life which can create uh, you know which can make you feel uh, not feel but uh, which can make your time run pleasant and uh, in in the same time give you the sense that actually life can be enjoyable uh, a very broad reading all right very broad reading it is because these three cards over here all right they do point that you are going to realize that when you um when you worry for something you know you make it double how uh, what was the song here guys uh, don't worry be happy you know it, it, it is something like this uh, so if you have a trouble when you worry you make it double so stop worrying things are going to be just fine and not just fine but also uh, with the seven of cups you need to work upon your mood Capricorns and not just you know the over uh, the the, the kind of like the general mood that you do have uh, toward foreigners but as well into your family especially as we said that the vibration with the lunar cycle is all about uh, establishing <clears throat> stronger connections with family uh, you should uh, when you when you spend time in a family environment capricorns you need to uh, be more cheerful you need to be uh, more uh, you, you need to show a, a bit more smiles as well, you know, and you need to try to find even the small things that can create happiness. It is all, it is all about that. So uh, it is about big stress relief for you. What can I say more about these three cards? Temperance one, uh, as a, a topic here, it is a, about finding a, a middle ground, which means that... Um, if you thought that the end of the world is coming regarding a certain uh, issue that you're tackling with, you're going to uh, realize you this particular cycle or you are going to foresee or see, you know, that actually the drama isn't that big and, and everything will be resolved just peacefully and it's going, the things are going to get back into normal. Uh, and we have the lesson you need to learn here with the Sun card. And uh, it pretty much quenches the reading itself, saying that you have to be that gentle soul during this uh, lunar cycle that drops a, a bit of happiness everywhere it goes. You need to know Capricorns. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, a certain clusters are going through the houses i'm not astrologer but you will be the cheerful soul during this lunar cycle which is going to cheer up and um exert enthusiasm into others so uh that being said you will be the team leader you will be the one who uh who uh, who rallies all right and and who uh let uh, show people that failure is not an option or kind of like you know not just failure but giving up is not an option the same card points that when you are around you will learn that lesson that you can as well slumber or you can as well uh, you know breathe tremendous power into people that can be very successful and last but not least we do have the energies for you that will be the king of pentacles which points that Everything will be sound and secure for you, especially family-wise. Um, these energies will not allow your family to fall apart, for example. And as well, talking about career, this card points as an energy points that your efforts will not be left unrewarded. 
But only thing that you need to do here is having more positive outlook or believing into a positive outcome and do your chores. Don't forget that. Yeah, chores are very important here. As I said, those chores which were annoying will be no longer annoying. That being said, you will have much more fun tackling with them. Then we go to Capri uh, Aquarius. <clears throat> Sun card is for the Aquarius uh, topic of their lunar cycle. Then we do have the Tower card, which is the challenges they need to overcome. Lover's card is the uh, intentions they need to adopt. Four of Cups is the lesson they need to learn. And last but not least, well, we do have the Emperor as a uh, energy. All right, this is going to be a very substantial cycle for you, Aquariuses. It is because transformation is coming, all right? A, a transformation which you desperately needed, but in the same time, a transformation which is not going to unfold uh, just the process of the transformation is not going to be exactly the way you have imagined it to be. All right. So uh, that being said, there will be unpleasant circumstances here and there uh, upon which you will not be able to do anything about. That being said, again, don't worry, guys. You just let it go. All right. Just leave it to unfold the way it is about to unfold. Why? Now we do have the tower card and I want to focus a little bit more upon the tower card um, as, a, um, as a challenge. First of all, tower card symbol, we have the uh, divine word Yod. The divine word Yod, it does speaks that the divine power itself has a finger upon what is happening. And you need to know that the, against the divine power, you cannot do anything about, you know, they, the divine power just do whatever uh, it is she or he is about to do. And under divine power, some people understand universe, other people understand God, you know, etc, etc. Then we do have flames. The flames in tarot are symbol of a purge. So the negativity through a transformation is going to be purged away from your life. But the purge of the fires is very violent, which means that you will feel the heat, you know, and some and sometime one feels the pain of those flames. Because sometimes the negativity is within us and it's so deep within us that we have to be engulfed by those flames so the purge can happen. And uh, I just, this is just an example, you know, you don't have to take it literally. But <clears throat> sometimes uh, uh, relationships, intimate relationships, which we think that they are everything we got, turns out to be a very noxious for us. But we are the only one who cannot see that. We are blinded by love, you know. And then the tower card hits the divine power or smites the relationship, you know, and the purge happens. And as the purge happens, obviously, uh, you you kind of suffer through it because you thought that this is the everything you got. But in reality, it isn't. All right. So this is what I'm trying to say here, that you will go through a transformation uh, during this lunar cycle, which is going to purge the negativity out of your life in a certain field of your life. And at the end, as we do have a topic here, the Sun card, you will leave relieved from that um, from that transformation or from that transition as well. You know, relieved to uh, to enjoy life with all in all of its forms. And intentional wise, we do have the Lover's card, and the Lover's card is all about recognizing. Uh, the true nature of the situation in this particular case. The lover's card is about being capable to 
bring down the mask that you are seeing every day into a people. I have no doubt that this is about relationship, but it doesn't have to be a intimate relationship for you. This, these cards here are pointing that you will either find out, you know, that someone is trying to either destroy your relationship, intimate relationship. You have a very good friend you thought that is lying to you very brutally or someone that you are very close to is envying you or is doing a surreptitious actions against you. It will be a very unpleasant, as I said, but in the same time is going to purge that negative influence in your life and it will leave a room there for you to replace it with something really positive and substantial for yourself. That being said, whatever is engulfed, uh, again, by the flames of the purge, you should not mourn for it, even if it seems very painful for you. But you need to know that this is just the beginning of a big improvement because the tower card as an end result, it is always healing in a grand scheme of thing, healing of one's life. And then we do have the lesson you need to learn. <clears throat> I am reading signs. I can't read person by person. That, that will take forever, Rosa. So, um, Four of Cups, uh, as a lesson, points that sometimes it is just better to do nothing. You know, you just believe in, in the universe, all right? In, in that particular case. Moreover, this card here points that your situation, um, which is purging throughout these couple of weeks, have reached in a certain, in such state that you cannot benefit anything from it no longer. And uh, if you try to, or, or kind of like if you, or excuse me, should you continue on into that situation, you will be on the losing side. You know, the only thing you are going to achieve there is losing resources, time, nerves, uh, being uh, in a state of despondency, etc., etc. So not very pleasant, as you can see. Uh, and um, after, I, I promise you that Aquarius is, after this lunar cycle, guys, you will feel mm, a great relief. Hello, Monica. How are you doing? And then uh, we do have the Emperor as a uh, energies which are going to support you. Uh, kind of, but you can you can rewatch you can rewatch it once I'm done and as well. It's going to be uh, uploaded into my YouTube channel. Anyway, so Emperor points that these violent transitions and as well events which are going to happen in your life will be not be strong enough to ruin you all right or to ruin your state so or to ruin your urge of life and i know what i'm talking about sometimes when you go through transition you know and uh, the transition is so swift and it's so violent in a certain state you know uh, sometimes you kind of doesn't see any points of going on moving on but that will not be your case, Aquarius. Is. As a matter of fact, the more the transition takes play, place, the more determined you are going to be to regain back control once transition is over. And this is what is going to happen. Once the transition is over, you are going to get control back upon your life in a much greater scale. And so we are done with Aquarius. That was a little bit longer than I have expected for Aquarius at least. But I really wanted to explain the, uh, the Tower card because uh, many people think that this is disastrous card. It isn't. It is only disastrous for those who can't recognize what is noxious for them and what isn't. All right. So... Uh, Last but not least, going into Pisces. Mm. 
By the way, guys, again, uh, after I'm done with Pisces, I will answer several questions from the audience by drawing one tarot card. <clears throat> so make sure you stay until then if you want your question answered or at least, you know, to take your chances and get your question answered because I will know because I will, will not be able to answer every single question, but I will choose those which are most interesting to me, you know. So, uh, that being said, Pisces here, and we have the Seven of Wands as a topic of your week, of your lunar cycle, then this is going to be the Sun card as a uh, challenges you need to overcome. Queen of Cups, this is intention-wise. Then we do have the Two of Wands as a, a lesson you need to learn, and then is the Seven of Pentacles as a, energies that are going to support you. So this isn't about you, first of all, all right? This is a, about a, a close person to you. Now, if you are a parent, it is most likely about your child, all right? Uh, if you are not a parent, that could be your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, very good friend of yours, a sibling, co-worker, someone that it is very, uh, very dear to your heart, all right? And what happens here, guys, is that... Um, these people will start walking down a precipitous slope. And obviously you don't want them to do so, all right? And uh, you will try to stop them. This is displayed here in these couple of cards. You will try to stop them and unfortunately uh, your actions need to be a little bit more drastic than usual. So uh, if it is about your kid, Probably you will have to yell. Uh, probably you will have to kind of like be a little bit more strict than usual, you know. Maybe you will have to, how can I place it, to um, bust them or bust it for something. I don't know how you say it in English, but when you put on additional chores as a penalty of the stupidities these uh, the kid did etc etc but the bottom line is that the, the this their person of yours will need a, a kind of like a, a harsh consequences in order to realize that the road they are walking upon right now it is not the road that that, that is going to give them benefit all right or it's not going to make them better they need to listen to you uh this is displayed here in the queen of cups and a compassion is one thing, but sometimes you got to take a drastic measure measures, you know, in order to get a their person of your heart back on track. And uh, by thinking about it, what comes to my mind is that, for example, let's say a friend of yours, it's um, it's a drug addict, all right? This is just an example I'm giving. If a, if a friend of yours is a drug addict, maybe this week throughout your support and throughout your drastic measures, you may be able to convince them to start withdrawing, you know, etc., etc. It's all about uh, you, Pisces, giving up your support into somebody and uh, a, a person which is in a not very good place uh, in their life at this very moment. Then we do have a lesson you need to learn here. That will be the two of uh, the two of cups, and the two of cups is about being uh, tenacious in your particular case. In your particular uh, in your particular case, and about demanding things to happen right now in this very moment, because if they have been left for tomorrow, they always will be postponed for tomorrow, because tomorrow will be today, and tomorrow people will tell you as it's today, they will tell you tomorrow, if you know what I mean. So that card points here that you should not lose the news, uh, the news about uh, around the neck of those people that you are trying to uh, place back on track with their life, so they can actually, uh, you know, become well, not just successful, but fulfilled into their deeds. And last but not least, we do have the Seven of Pentacles as a uh, energies which are going to support you here 
throughout um, this lunar cycle. And the Seven of Pentacles for you, Pisces, does points that you will not lose hope into these people, all right? No matter how deep in the... <clears throat> Deep down, they have plummeted, all right? You will not lose a hope within them, and you will always will be able to find a way to drag them up and to basically sustain them as a, uh, as a person of the society, all right? So uh, we can see that you will be a savior. Hello, Brenda. I hope you enjoy it. So you, Pisces, are going to play the role of a savior, all right, during this uh, particular lunar cycle. And before I go into the, uh, you know, the blitz, should I say it, uh, that will answer questions, um, that could also unfold in a way that, let's say, a, a good friend of yours, regardless a girl or a boy, have a, a very crucial breakup with their love partner they could be very um despondent right now they could be very uh you know uh prone to depression and etc etc and you will be the savior here you know maintaining their positive outlook and trying to get them back on track to date other people this could be as well a version of unfoldment of that reading the bottom line is that you for you pisces someone needs your help your emotional support you know just so that person knows that they have someone uh, a shoulder to cry on you know and uh, basically that's that otherwise everything else is going to go normal for what it seems for you during this lunar cycle so that being said this was about the uh, 12 star signs if you haven't watched yours your rising moon or sun sign uh, there will be a, a replay here on my uh, facebook page or the video is going to be as well uploaded on my uh, youtube channel Tarot, you can go and check it out as well as there are the uh, weekly readings already uploaded and you can watch them as well and the monthlies of course are there as well so um, you can ask your questions now For Karena, I'm not really understanding your question. You you ask, will your heart be open again? Something like this. I'm not sure that I'm understanding that question. Thank you, Maya. Thank you for your feedback. So, Beverly, just to tell you on that question, should I retreat or stay put? This is a question meant to take a decision for you. So, um, Unless not a, a private consultation, I won't answer that kind of a questions because at the end of the day, you will bear the consequences of your actions. That being said, when you ask a question, you rather should aim to get an answer regarding of how things are going to unfold, etc., etc., rather to uh, expect that I should tell you, yes, you should stay or yes, you shouldn't stay. Because at the end of the day, I will not be the one who will suffer the consequences of that kind of a uh, decision, you know. Uh, am I what? Third, third house that I don't understand that. 
So Monica asks, what is what is next for her? And Monica, for you, we do have the lover's card. So that could be a very big love coming in. All right. Uh, well, this is at least what the lover's card as a general reading means or a, a very big decision to make overall. What the card points is that in case it's a big love, then uh, try to love the negative sides of the person that you're going to start dating or uh, if it is about a decision do what it is in harmony with you and not the one that you need that you should all right so ask yourself what i want to do and then just do it the lover's card is about reaching harmony and a harmony it is what is next for you Well, Karina, you can be less depressed, of course. Uh, that will be the Wheel of Fortune for you. So the Wheel of Fortune points that you are not... How can I place it? You are not taking out the maximum of your life. And uh, depression has nothing to do with it. It is more like a... Uh, the uh, lack of enthusiasm, if I may say it that way, which is kind of like a definition for depression. But overall, uh, what, I, what I'm trying to say is that you do have the means not to be depressed as an opportunity uh, to start a job, to start a relationship, for example, in case you are aiming for this kind of stuff. And uh, the only lack of, uh, how can I place it? The only lack of... Um, Readiness for action, all right? It is what makes you depressed, at least according to my car. Lil Crazy uh, or Lil Cruz. Yeah, that is Lily Cruz. Asking what new is coming. <clears throat> So uh, this is the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is about motherhood. The Queen of Cups, it is a, about emotional support. The Queen of Cups is about keeping secrets. All right. So uh, one of these three is coming for you, either a motherhood. Now, when I move my cursor over your picture, I can see a child there. So probably you will take even greater care. For your kid um, <clears throat> or a, a secret is coming in your way or you will have to hold a hand of somebody one of those three Well, well, Zoe, um, your future looks um, and maximized with the four of uh, with the four of cups. Uh, you are following your heart, yes, but not to its full potential, at least according to that card. You need to, you should. Um, what well, my point is here, Zoe, is that your future could be much brighter than it is right now. All right, it is just you need to ask for more basically, or you need to strive yourself for more. In other words, you shouldn't be satisfied for you or with your results at this very moment, you know, by following your heart, not because they are uh, insignificant or, um, you know, they, they are kind of like a failures or anything, but because they can be much greater, all right? So keep up the performance and improve the performance in general, and uh, everything is going to be very, very good. Oh, exhausted. Oh, well, yeah, it's uh, 1.33 a.m. for me here, uh, Julie. Exhausted. And you need to know that these tarot readings, they do exhaust. 
<clears throat> so it's yeah they, they do exhaust they kind of drains or they drain me at least okay one last question So Daniele asks, um, can I have a guidance read for right now, please? Am I heading the right direction? As a direction, yes. But your strategy to obtain your, um, your goal is incorrect. There is a, a much shorter, better and less cost uh, and less cost efficient way to get what you are after. But for are you on the right track? I think yes with this card. It is just right now uh, the uh, the whole situation feels a little bit unstable. Uh, you should be open for surprises as well. Uh, you should not be biased about um, unfoldments because there will be around turns, Daniele, and um, or Daniel, should I say, and uh, those around turns could be anybody's guess, all right? So you need to be adaptive uh, and as well to rethink your strategy and your approach toward the situation in general. So that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. This was the new moon in Taurus life here on Radka Tarot, and I hope that, um, you know, uh, you have enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me um, you can check out my website tarotpredictions.net which is going to be written here in the post all right and um, <clears throat> you know and purchase your reading from there a personal reading as soon as the purchase goes through we are going to schedule an appropriate time for both of us to perform your reading either through skype or through a, a facebook messenger etc etc the varieties are uh, numerous in our digital world so uh, yeah i am signing out now because it's quite late for me and uh, see you around i hope in case you have you have missed your uh, star sign you can watch the replay here on my Facebook page or the video is going to be uploaded in a couple of hours on my YouTube channel where you can navigate it a little bit easier. So um, thank you all for watching. It was an honor for me to have you as my audience tonight and see you around, I hope. Until then, bye.